Hi guys, this is a video on adding stacks to your Windows taskbar. Now this should work with Windows XP and Windows Vista with the quick launch bar and also for Windows 7 users using the super bar. If you're running out of space or you need to group icons together then this will be useful for you. So we have two things here, standalone stacks 2 and 7 stacks. I'm going to demonstrate both of them. I have two folders here which are icons for each one. So as you can see they're going to be different icons. 7 stacks icons, you can see they're different. So I'll put them side by side and you can compare them for yourself which one you prefer to use. So let's start with standalone stacks 2. All the download links for these will be in the description. So standalone stacks 2 basically comes in a zip file, so you just have to run the application inside it. And as you can see, it's a very basic box. Go into the options and you've got some things to customize it. Use custom icons, show hidden files. You also have options for fan settings and grid settings, so we can change the size, font, colour, transparency, spacing, whatever. And then you have the option to create a new stack. Now I don't really care what the stack name is, so I'm gonna call it Stack It Mofo. Oops, Mofo, Mofo. I'm gonna click the th the path and I'm going to go for the SS2 icons where my icons are located. Now do I want it as a stack grid or auto? I'm gonna start with the stack. With the auto you can see the option here if you have more than ten items and it's set to stack it will switch to grid. The direction I want it to go or animate is going to be upwards, obviously, because my taskbar is at the bottom of the screen. So if you have your taskbar at the top, you're going to want to go down. And I don't care what it sorts by, but as you can see, well, we've got a bunch of things here. And also, you have a link to go straight to the folder here when it says Show in Explorer. So I'm going to create the stack. So it's now created. It shows in my stacks. I'm going to create a shortcut on the desktop. And I'm just going to drag this into my super, whoops, I'll drag this into my super bar. There we go. Now when I click it, as you can see, it comes off as a stack. So if I want to edit it, again, go back to this, My Stacks, I'm going to go to Grid. Now it doesn't autom uh, automatically update it, so if I click it again, you'll see it's still a stack. So I click OK, and then it will change it. There we go, it is now a grid. And as you can see, it's very, very OS X style with this. And so you have the option there of Grid and Stack. So. Let's go to 7 stacks. Now 7 stacks looks a little bit more simple. It works the same way though. Folders to use for stack. You can have a special folder here so you can have various areas on your hard drive or if you can go to start menu, common folders, other and you can choose your own as well. So I'm going to go straight to 7 stack icons. As you can see I've got another caption here. Again I don't care. Stack it poo and I'm going to have this as a stack so I can show you. But you can also see we have a menu option. Now this is a little bit different. I will show you that. Uh, I don't really care about the default icon and I'm going to have the show explore item so again I can go into the folder, browse subfolders and I'm going to use a transparent non-glossy look. I'm also going to go into preferences and make sure animate when opening and closing is enabled even though for some reason I can't see it uh, as I've tested it before and everything else here is fine. So I'm going to create a shortcut on my desktop very similar to how the other one was working. So I'm just going to drag this in, click it and there we go, I now have a stack. As you can see it's different to the OS X style, it looks more Windows 70, if that makes sense. Okay, so, I'm going to change this to menu. Now you can right click this, you can't do this with this one, as you can see it just opens it. So you can right click this one and go edit this stack. Now I'm going to change it now to a menu. And let's see if it real time updates. No it doesn't. So, we're going to edit the stack shortcut, there we go, successfully updating. Click it, and as you can see we now have a menu. I'm now going to click grid, edit, and we now have it grid style. As you can see, it's not OS um, 10 style like this is with the grid, but it's very, very similar. So, this is 7 stacks and standalone stack 2. I hope I haven't confused you, but check them both out, see which one you prefer. Again, I haven't tested them on Windows XP and Vista. Uh, they should work with the quick launch bar because they're essentially just icons and they're just popping up from the icon or the shortcut. So this should work for you. All the download links will be in the description. I'll probably forward you to my website with some screenshots if you want to make a comment on this if you found any more. So thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.